What do you think of the river? What do you think about the it? trip had started eight days earlier, and that night at Mini Estima, we had visitors. It was nice to see my two young sons and wife, and even have them enjoy a fire with us. Calling them owls. So you ever hear those owls that kind of scream like a baby? Before they hoot, they make this pretty awful sound. Like it makes me, the hairs on my back stand whenever I hear it. It's kind of like, ah! Hoo! Hoo! I Man, it's the craziest thing you ever heard. Could you do that one more time for us? Ah! Who? Who? We were looking forward to coming through our hometown of Cedar Rapids in the next couple days. It's always nice to be coming home from a great distance. And even though we were only about 180 miles from our start, it had taken us over a week of traveling to get there. That night, we would camp at Wildcat Bluff County Park. Immediately on arrival, we filled up our drinking water and, undeterred by the rotting deer carcass in the park dumpster, we decided to set up camp and unpack our gear. Here's our two-man tent that uh, we've used the entire trip. Here's our Alumacraft aluminum canoe. It's been pretty sturdy for a river trip. Okay, some of the gear we go with is uh, a bag of this nature, one for each of us. Handles most of our personal belongings and uh, first aid, rain gear. Here we'll move to a pair of uh, waterproof bags. Keep everything dry while it's uh, in the boat. They also have pretty good uh, shoulder straps so we can uh, portage them around wherever we need to go with them. And that'll hold our tent, sleeping bags, cookware, food. And here's our map cases, including the GPS, keeps the maps free of any moisture. And then we have our GPS just to help keep track of our uh, location as far as speed and uh, data collection. It's nice to have a notebooks, um, camera bags, camera case. The owls continued to call across the ridges as night fell, and we decided to check the AM dial for some tunes.
new uh, all packed to go for the morning. Um, one of the most important things that we try to get when we're packing the canoe is a nice balance uh, front and back, and side to side. And uh, that's really important. Um, you'll, you can feel it right away if you're unbalanced, but basically it's to try to achieve a nice balance as we're both paddling, one on one side, uh, the guy in the back on the other usually. So on this trip, on the way down, we've been looking for some of these snags, um, trying this new sport that everybody's doing, it's called noodling. And basically, you find snags like this and you reach down with your arms and you can feel around in there and then sometimes there's big catfish laying there. Um, so we stopped at this snag and I just started messing around, put my hand down in the water and I think I found one right down underneath this log and his mouth is probably about like this so I'm gonna try to the goal is they just sit there and so you stick your arm up in them and they kind of grab on you grab them and you pull them out so I'm gonna try this okay he seems like a big one I don't know how big but pretty big feeling it Feel anything yet you got it you got it Whoa! Needless to say, I did not catch that fish, but we were feeling good and having fun. Soon we were in Lynn County, familiar waters close to home.